Hey guys and welcome back to a new YouTube video on my YouTube channel. For today's video, it's going to be more of a chatting video, it's going to be a quick video because today we are going to be talking about art and a beginner art um, clay art guide. This is intended for people who want to maybe for let's say do pottery or people who are like me like, likes to make figurines. As you guys know, I have made a lot of Disney figures. I have made a lot of like stuff out of clay lately. You guys may have been noticing I've been making a lot more clay videos. So for today's video, I wanted to give you guys a lot of the things that I learned when doing clay art. I do want to say this is not like I'm not a professional at all. I am probably a beginner i just started getting into clay so please don't take this too much to heart i'm just giving you the tips that helped me i am by no means claiming to be a professional every single clay piece that i made is definitely beginner and there is a lot that i still have to learn but i really wanted to share with you guys some tips that i have for you guys to help you because i really wish someone on youtube could have made a video like this because a lot of things I had to figure out myself, which was definitely not easy, so I want to help out other clay artists out there to basically just know more about the art. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. This video is going to be split into sections where I'm going to talk to you guys about some stuff, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this week's video. So step one to start your clay art is supplies. Do not do anything, you have to first have every single thing you need, so that way you have everything that you need to maximize your results. So the first thing that you need is a paintbrush, a paint palette, um, clay, and obviously paint. So you can use anything. If you're a beginner, I recommend going very slow and try to use cheaper brands. So personally for me, I don't recommend spending a lot of money on paintbrushes. There is ridiculously expensive paintbrushes. I mean, if you want to, you can totally can. But for clay arts, you're not really going to need like a very professional paintbrush. No, you're going to need just any paintbrush that's going to do the trick. So to me, I got my paintbrushes at Daiso, which was super cheap, super, super cheap. And oh my God, they are amazing. Daiso is one of those places that I really recommend you guys to try to get your art supplies from because oh my god the prices at least where i live is amazing and the quality is actually really good like really good um so yeah i have been using daiso paintbrushes ever since i started and oh my god they are amazing now to the paint paint is super complicated because for some reason paint is ridiculously expensive it's definitely very sad and I know if you are trying to become clay artist, you may have went to the paint section maybe in your local craft store or whatever, or bookstore, whatever you went to, and you may have seen the prices and you may be like, oh, that's really bad. That's pretty sad. Paint is just really expensive, so I recommend choosing more cheaper brands. So a brand that I have been using for a very long time that is pretty cheap, it's not very cheap, but it is pretty cheap, is Funbo Paint. I'm gonna put it on the screen. It is amazing. It has worked really well for me. I don't know if it's the highest quality paint because again, I haven't used other brands, but it's pretty good and it does the trick, so might as well get a cheaper brand. So this is a, a cheap brand of paint that I really recommend. I do want to say there is a difference between acrylic and oil paint. For a ridiculously long time, I was using oil paint um, from Fumbo, the same brand. So Fumbo has two brands, acrylic paint and oil paint. Both of them are the same price. Where I live, acrylic is slightly more expensive, but here is why you should actually use acrylic paint and not oil paint. I do want to say this is from my personal experience, so if you do want to use oil paint, you do you, I'm not a professional. But when I used oil paint, it takes a ridiculously long time to dry, and the second thing, it smells disgusting. Like, paint, don't expect it to smell good, you know, it it's paint, what the heck, like what are you expecting? But acrylic paint from Fumbo smells like nothing, it just smells nothing, but oil paint, it's disgusting. Like. After it dries, like after the oil paint has totally dried, the paint, the smell does not go away. Like it's insane. The only way that I have found to get rid of the oil paint smell is to use rubbing alcohol. That kind of makes it go away. But be a little bit careful because this is my second thing. 
Oil paint is very badly not strong. It is very easily washable, which I'm not saying acrylic paint is not washable, it is washable, but it takes a lot more effort to wash off than oil paint. And also from clay, clay absorbs oil paint because oil paint base is oil, while acrylic paint is water. So please keep that in mind. This is a very important thing that you guys have to know. And I wanted to shed light on this because I have not seen a lot of people talk about this. At least I haven't seen a video that talks about this. But yeah, please keep that in mind. This is a very, very important note for you guys to take in hand. So for the next supply, um, it is a paint palette. So personally, I don't have a paint palette. I don't care to have a paint palette. I think paint palettes, no hate, are pretty pointless. They are not like totally pointless because I feel like they're probably just going to be ruined over time because paint obviously is going to dry and it's going to harden on the paint palettes and it's going to be literally deadly to wash off. So... I just recommend you using plastic, like, plastic, um, anything, like, plastic plates, any reusable thing that you can reuse. I, ha I, you guys, if you watch my clay videos, you know I use these, like, plastic, um, bowls for this, and I just throw them away after, it's pretty easy. You can use also paper, like, you, you can go to your local, like, supermarket or something and buy super cheap, like, um, maybe, like, per day cups, you can figure it out, there's a lot of different ways you can get something to put your paint on so that way you can paint i do not think a paint palette is necessary for a beginner but if you do want to go a little bit extra obviously it's totally fine so you do you and obviously the last supply you will need is actual clay so first things first i do want to ask you a question do you want polymer or air dry clay so let me explain the difference in case you don't know air dry clay it's pretty self-explanatory air dry clay sets by just leaving it exposed to air it dries in contact with air while polymer clay dries in contact with heat so you actually have to put it in the oven in order for polymer clay to set as polymer clay will not set from air so i have not used polymer clay so i cannot give you my personal experience on that but let's talk about air dry clay so if you do want people that know more about polymer clay there is amazing artists on youtube you can search um, their youtube videos and they probably will give you a lot better information than i will about polymer clay but i have information about air dry clay so personally i much prefer air dry clay i feel like it's easier to use at least for me and i really like to use it so yeah i do want to use polymer clay in the future but as of right now i'm just as a beginner i'm kind of taking it slow and using air dry clay so yeah now the brand of air dry clay you use matters i'm telling you right now it matters oh my god i wish someone told this to me so i used as you guys know the brand of paint that i use is fumbo and i did not know this but fumbo actually has an air dry clay brand and i actually used it a few weeks ago i was filming a youtube video i was making figurines um like one of my disney figures and it was actually a total fail the clay is very soft and actually at first I thought that clay was amazing because it was super soft and a struggle that I had with air dry clay is how stiff it is um, and how much water you have to mix in for it to actually be easier to work with. So when I seen the Fumbo paint, uh, sorry, Fumbo clay was super soft, I was like, oh my god, it's probably amazing. I used it and let's just say I was disappointed. So if you guys don't know, air dry clay, I don't recommend dry- You can let it dry in the sun, but it will crack more if you let it dry in the sun. I just let it dry in a cupboard, like in an empty cupboard, and it works perfectly. So for a very long time, I used the brand Jovi Clay, which, oh my god, it works amazing. I use it till now. I heavily recommend it. It is so much better than Fumbo Clay. Fumbo is really good when it comes to paint, but oh my god, the clay, it's terrible. It is definitely intended towards children, not sculptors. I have made such an amazing sculpt with it, and I let it dry in an empty cupboard, which by the way, if you let it dry in the sun, there is more probability of cracking, but in an empty cupboard, there is less probability of cracking. After I put Fumbo, after I, like, I used the Fumbo clay, it cracked terribly, like actually terribly. I let the clay piece dry for literally three days. It was not drying. Like, no matter what I did, it was not drying. And this is ridiculous because I used other brands of air dry clay and it dried perfectly. So it was a little bit ridiculous, honestly. And after it dried, I noticed it was incredibly cracked and I tried to fix it with white glue. And then guess what happened? When I was painting the clay, Fumble clay absorbs paint. It does not let it set. So if you guys don't know, 
A good brand of clay, how do you know, is when you use paint and it, the paint doesn't soak in the clay. So I used the Jovi clay, which I'm gonna put it on the screen. It is amazing, like actually amazing. I will say though, you do have to learn how to use it properly, but if you know it, oh my god, you're gonna make literally masterpieces with it. It's amazing, I heavily recommend it. So that's the brand of clay that I use now, and I have been very happy with my experiences with it. But Fumbo Clay absorbs paint, which is terrible, and it's just terrible. I do not recommend that. Air Dry Clay, do not use it. It's definitely not meant for people who are trying to be more professional with the sculptures. Maybe intended towards children, but it's not that good. It's really bad, like really bad. I had a really bad experience with it and it, I was very, very disappointed, especially because it is actually more expensive than Jovi Clay. So yeah, it's it's a lose-lose situation because you're literally paying more money for a worse quality. So yeah, if you don't have Jovi Clay, then I just recommend searching, just trying your luck, I guess. And that's how sadly art is. You just have to try your luck with different brands of maybe clay or whatever and see which brand is the best one. Personally, in my experience, Jovi is known to be really good. So if you have Jovi, I recommend sticking with it. And just my, my biggest like tip when it comes to using Jovi clay is to mix it with a lot of water. Try to soften it up with water and use water in your fingers to try to really sculpt that clay. So yeah, this is basically all of my tips about supplies. But yeah, anyways, that is it for part one of Beginner Clay Art Guide. I hope you now have a lot of information about supplies. Again, I do want to make this clear. I am not a professional. I'm not claiming to be a professional. I am definitely a beginner like you guys, if you are a beginner as well. I hope if, you, if you're someone that is really has a lot of experience about clay, if the comments are turned on because YouTube loves to <laughs> turn on the comments, then please comment down below some maybe stuff that I have to know about clay because yeah, I would love you guys to share your experiences with me as well with clay and clay art. So yeah, because I am still a beginner, so I would also love to learn. But I hope this video still gave some of you guys who are beginners or even advanced some information maybe that I went through. But yeah, I hope now this kind of gave you an idea of what to purchase when it comes to supplies. And as I mentioned, there are so many amazing supplies out there that I have not tried yet. So I yet have to experience actually getting like doing clay. I have been doing clay for a very short amount of time. So yeah, I'm really excited for the future, but I hope this video was informative and I hope it helped you. So stay tuned for part two, where I'm gonna show you guys how you can use Jovi clay because I am aware a lot of people use Jovi clay as the base. So I'm gonna show you guys this in next week's video. So anyways, I'm gonna see you guys later. Goodbye and have an amazing day.